I'm going to start taking the front seat apart. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the trim. No, no, I'm going to need my ratcheting uh, screwdriver for that. I'm going to get the trim and these backrests off, and then I'm going to start on the bottom of the front, and I can put that back in the car while I work on these, you know, just to make some room in the garage. I've been working on this. Yeah, Tim, I've been working on the mower, and there will be a video on that. I am um, making a separate video. I ordered parts, a carb kit. Got it. It has spark now. But anyway, you'll see the that in a separate video all together. Let me get my ratcheting screwdriver and we'll get that trim off. There right, you get the picture. I'll just get these unscrewed and then we can get at the, you know, get this off too and then we can get at the fasteners for these that hold this together. So this clip comes out and you can slide the backrest off. But yeah, these are going to have to come off eventually. These clips will hold the trim on. But we can get the backrest off now, hopefully. And then we can uh, get this stuff off once we start on that seat. There's a screw down under here to access this. So you get this up and off. And then you can pull out the other. But I have to put the seat back to pull out the other clip right here well hopefully just a hard place to get in to, to grab it all right let me horse with it it's just a difficult place now you can see that kind of a little bit better. I just pulled both the clips out. I'll take the trim off the other side and the other clip, and then both backrests are, are off. Yeah, not much holds them on, huh? And then we can get this stripped down. I want to repaint the seat frame like I did on the rear seat, too, on the track and everything. So that's why I want to get it apart so I can start cleaning that up and doing it. Next, I got to pull all these brackets. I'm going to take the seat tracks off so I can clean them and paint them. The seat frame itself is in pretty good shape. These just need really cleaning up, though. These are the, the, uh, this is where the seat nuts went on these ones and bolts went into these ones that held it into the car. And one, one was missing, I think. I think this one was missing. So I'll run a tap through one of them. Anyway, I'll run a tap and a die through all the holes and die on the bolts, tap through there. And, uh, but you can see what holds it on. So I'll get them. Feels like a welded nut on this side. I can't tell, but that might be one you can put a wrench on. We'll see. But anyway, that's got to come apart and I got to get, this is what, you know loosens the mechanism from one side to the other so I'm just getting a little video of everything here so if I need to go back and refer to it I can there we be one more thing I'm going to add to this video yeah Tony sent me this he's from Florida Melbourne Florida but he sent me a uh seat belt buckle so we'll get this cleaned up and this belting is much shorter than any of the belts i thought maybe this was a front seat you know because of the fancy uh thing on there you know where you'd see on the rear floor and this being chrome but this is significantly shorter than my front seat belt so I'll just reuse this part and put new webbing in to replace that one that was a little melted back here. We'll get this thing all nice and cleaned up and ready to go, and then we'll put it in. So thank you, Tony. That will solve my melted seat buckle problem. Thank you kindly. Yeah, and I just want to want to thank all my viewers, and especially, you know, everyone that's been kind enough to send me little tidbits and odds and ends for the cars I need. You don't know how much that helps. I re really appreciate everything everybody's done to help me out with this project. And I know it's because you enjoy these cars as much as I do. So thank you again, everybody. These are ready for the parts washer. 
So I'll get them cleaned. I want to clean them up today and paint them because we're supposed to get a couple rainy days. So I'm going to work on them and I can work on taking this apart in the rain and getting it ready to prep up and paint. And uh, looks like something pawed around in there a little bit. And that looks like it got wet because it's got mold in it. I think we'll, uh, we may end up having to replace that. I don't know. With the wire in there, it might be difficult, but we'll see. See, my carburetor body is still in there. I'll get to it one of these days. But anyway, well, let's get these things cleaned up. Well, these are cleaned up and ready for the bead blast cabinet. I just wanted to get the grease off of them so the beads don't stick in it. Then I'll wash them again after I bead blast them. Then we'll. I'm just going to paint the brackets or riveted on. Otherwise, I'd remove them and paint them. But this track is still in good shape. You can see a little overspray Ford got on it. And I'll paint this handle just the way Ford did originally too. So I'll get that all done up while we have nice weather to do it. Before I start pulling hog rings, I just want to make a note of how it's hog ringed. And there's only one, two, three, four, five, six across the back. So there isn't one at every position. But if you note, there's one here, one here, one here, and one here. And one there, there, and there, and there. So that's kind of the seating area. So I'll have to see what those hog rings are holding. Because, you know, the seat back probably comes, you know, the, the backrest part probably come to about here. So I just kind of going around. So if there's any need to go back and look at a video for future reference, I can. One missing here it was never put in. Okay, I think that does the job on just kind of getting an overall picture of the hog rings. These uh, cleaned up really nice. The paint's still a little, little damp. That's the lever. I took the springs off, so that's why it's all the spring that you know that holds that arm. So I could paint them, and that way I was able to run the tracks and clean the bearings out and make sure there was no media in anything. They run, they just fall back and forth. Now they run really smooth, both of them. These are the springs that tension, you know, that go to pull the seat. These are what go to those little arms I was just showing you. And there's another one. So all those springs are painted up and we'll get this painted too when we, once we get the cover off. Hopefully it won't be raining when I get ready to paint that. This is before. So these are little mounting brackets for the seat trim on the bottom of the seat. I'm going to sand bead blast them and paint them and I'm going to keep them on their perspective sides. They look like they could screw this side or that side but will these still line up properly? I don't know so I am going to keep them right and left even though I doubt there's a right and left to them. These cleaned up nice. There they are kind of all they are painted up with the springs and whatnot that I showed a minute ago. But this is four or five hours or a few hours later anyway. All the hog rings are off. So this this side has a wire that goes wraps around to here and hog rings that was inside that channel. And there's a separate wire here across the front. So there's three wires, one, two, and then one here. So I gotta clean them up and paint them. This doesn't appear to have a wire, but it's got a um, piping on it. Definitely not a wire inside of that. And, oops, I missed a hog ring there. And uh, So anyway, um... Yeah, so I'll, I'll have to put piping in like I did on the other one. It looks like it ends right here where the wire picks up. But some of this, as you can see here, it was hogged during through the vinyl and it never made it to the other side of the, the uh, 
piping and that actually went through the piping that one was on the other side of the piping that one was on it and that one was on it and that one was on it so this one was the only one that the you know i mean like i say they're throwing these things together at the factory so it's ready to get this off so i can clean the frame up and paint it and all the springs look okay i don't see anything broken or out of place and i think we'll I got to take these hog rings out, but I'm going to take them off maybe after I take the cover off so I can see. I think they're just holding this burlap, but I just want to make sure there's it's not holding something else that I don't want to ruin something. So anyway, I'm going to start getting the cover off now. This is another day and I started, uh, as you can see, getting this down to the Bear Springs. This was a, this was a bit of a work. It was a chore. Um, it's going to be a joy getting the new cover on. Now i got to clean. I'm going to power wash it. And then I'm go I might just get my pressure washer out. Say going to the car wash. And I'll just re-winterize it. But um, yeah. it's uh, It was hog ringed here. In that. I think there's a little right there. There's the little little channel of wire was in there's another wire then this was hog ringed up and over after that was hog ringed on and these corners were you know see how it's beveled like that and it's beveled like that yeah that made a real joy because it's tighter up here than down here where it has to come off you know it's in further so i had to kind of peel it down here peel it off here and then fold it back that way it was a it was a chore and there was no way i was going to be able to video it because there's two of us and the camera would have been on the floor yeah it was a we we're moving around it moving it around and pulling and tugging and working but it's off now i'm going to clean the springs and paint it hopefully get it painted before they predict rain so let me get it outside and pressure wash it there's the original seat cover and the original padding and uh yeah it's not in bad shape but we'll we'll do it all up so it's like brand new and the new seat cover so you can see that wire goes in there to hog ring that's actually got a cord in it so I don't need to feed a cord through it. This needs the wire, the wires that I painted there. These wires and that wire. And uh, this wire is the one I gotta clean and paint with the frame so that, you know, it's all can hog ring. So let's, uh, let's get to work here. I'm gonna get this thing out, get the pressure washer out, and we'll get this thing cleaned up. This thing's still winterized, so I gotta get the get the antifreeze out of it. So the antifreeze will kill the grass. Looks like it's all it's that pink RV antifreeze they put in. Alright, let me get this thing going and we'll clean that seat. Yeah, Ford painted this. It was just a quick skim coat. You can see the bare metal through there. All that white looking stuff is bare metal. But I'm going to take my disc grinder with an 80 grit. Get all the heavy rust with it. And then I'm going to hand sand with 80. And then we're going to paint it. It doesn't need to be like a car body because, you know, 
it's covered up but I want it protected so it doesn't rust anymore and so it looks nice so let me get to grinding I'm not going to video it because I don't want all that grinding dust in my camera grinding off all this heavy surface rust sorry your camera views everywhere and it's cleaning up pretty good but I got a weld I got a spot weld right there I got a touch up and one on this side too well this one maybe not no this one's okay it's just this one over here so I'll touch that up and grind it and then I'll finish uh, sanding I'm just gonna go over the rest of it with uh, 80 grit because this is just this is just light surface rust here almost rub it off my finger so I'll just go over everything with a piece of 80 grit now that I got the the heavy scale off I did the same on the front there got all the scale off so let me get to let me weld that up and then I'll sand this out and I'll be ready for paint yeah, I got it painted before the rain they're predicting so it will get recovered probably during the rainy weather hopefully so I'm gonna let that dry at least one day if not two but it came out pretty darn nice little overspray here and there on some things but that's to be expected overall it looks good a couple little spots like right in here I missed so I just went and uh, got them looked it all over a hundred percent make sure I didn't miss any other spots and looks good there we go now for drying time well why that was drying and it's dry to the touch now but I'm gonna start uh, putting the foam and stuff on it tomorrow so I can start putting the cover on but why that was drying I got this running and that will be in a separate video soon I did video on getting it running so keep an eye on my videos for that but, well sorry my battery just went dead as I was wrapping up but I'm going to uh, get cleaned up and call this a video so I can go in and edit for you so if you uh, like my video hit the like button and if you want to subscribe to my channel see that uh, seat finished up which i will be doing in the next video on the galaxy please subscribe by hitting that 348 engine icon there and thank you for watching my videos